Good evening from Maryland Stadium tonight. Michigan all over Maryland 35-10. This is Wayne Viner. Joining me in the Turp Talk postgame show tonight is Luke Jackson. Luke, welcome in. Thanks for having me. Uh, you watched the game from the press box. I'll go with you first. What would you see tonight? I probably saw a lot of the same things that you saw. Maryland, I, excuse me, Michigan got off to a, a big 28 to nothing lead early that got Maryland in a hole. Um, and, and what I saw is that Michigan obviously was just a better football team, uh, bigger up front. Uh, their offensive line, linemen, and on their defensive line, they've got some future NFLers on that. Uh, and so they were able to control the line of scrimmage. Uh, that helped them out. Uh, and then Michigan obviously was able to make more splash plays, more big plays. Uh, Ryan Brand threw a couple interceptions, uh, one of which was a red zone interception. That didn't help matters for Maryland. Uh, and then Michigan uh, had a block punt, which was a big punt, uh, play for them. Uh, and then I'm trying to think of some other big plays well, that they had. Maryland went for it on fourth down, uh, fake punt, didn't right. get it. Gave, right. And the immediate aftermath was a 30-yard touchdown pass to the tight right, end right. and suddenly we're down 21 nothing right and there were a couple big swings in that mm -hmm. game that was one of the big swings and then another one of the swings was was when it looked like Maryland had uh, a muff punt uh, mm -hmm. or recovered a muff punt uh, they did not uh, Michigan ended up getting the benefit of an illegal touching call or something like that right Maryland then, touched the ball first right, and, Maryland touched yeah. the ball first and the next play was a big big play for Michigan I forget who the Wolverine was who made the made play, the but play, there were a lot of big, yeah. I agree, a lot of big plays for Michigan. For a while, Maryland had 35 yards passing, and 29 of those right. went to Jacobs. In the end, Maryland statistically caught up. They just couldn't catch up on the scoreboard. Right. So if you want to look at the bad part, you look at the first half and uh, think about, they said 44,000 people were here. Most of them, if they were Maryland fans, went home at halftime. Right, right. And, and I there were a see lot of why. Michigan fans here. There were a lot. And I thank them for coming and, and buying things at the concession stand and, and helping out uh, pay the bills here. Herp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting your source for point-of-sale systems that give you business control and manage your inventory. Hardware, software, training, and support from NCR and Revel Systems. Call Viner Consulting at 301-251-2900 or visit us at oneviner.com. It was disheartening. I, I was hoping that with the spark from having Ryan Brand start, they announced Bortenschlager as a starter. Brand came out. Uh, Maryland would have a little bit of spark off of that. It didn't happen. Maryland looked much better in the second half. Right. We were talking the press box. Maybe Michigan sort of called the dogs off, and then when Michigan had the ball first down here with under a minute to go, they took a knee. Right. But like you said, the good thing was about this game was that Maryland did have a few drives in the second half with Ryan Brand under center, um, or I guess with Maryland, it's behind center. It's right. Not, not much he, under center. Right. As the uh, band starts up behind us, we have to get to the press conference, so we're going to make this short. Yeah, even on fourth and one, Maryland does not line up behind center. Right. right. And we also talked about why Maryland didn't run Ryan Brand. Bortenschlager ran more than Brand uh, on average of the Brand, first half. I thought ran more as the game wore on. Yeah. Um, he but started on to get the rhythm. On that read option stuff early yeah. in the game, yeah. he was just pitching it to the running backs or handing it off to the running right. backs. So Maryland's probably not going to a bowl on the road next week at Michigan State, who had a tough day at Ohio State. And then we finish up with Penn State on the 25th. Game time still to be announced. It's just not a lot to talk about tonight. It's cold. It's, it's late. Cold. Yeah. We lost. Bruce is away from the camera. Mason took the night off. I'd like to thank Luke for joining us. He's done it a few Tuesdays here at Maryland Stadium. The final here on the Trip Talk postgame show. Michigan 35, Maryland 10. We'll go in for the warm uh, postgame interview with DJ Durkin. Good evening. Because you don't even know. I can make your hands clap. I said I can make your hands clap.